Welcome to class. In this session, we're going to take a look at how Sony Vegas Movie Studio deals with three common sound effects. The fade in, the fade out, and the general volume level. Okay, first we need to import a sound file into Vegas. Let's do that. We're going to drag it right here onto the voice track, but I could have dragged that file onto the music track or onto the other audio track, the sound effect tracks right here, but we'll take a look at it while it's in the voice track. Okay, let's listen to this music for a moment. Elevator music. Pretty flat, pretty consistent. Ooh. But it's there for a point. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Let's stop it and remove that. Bring that right back to the beginning of the track. Now, this music starts out at a pretty consistent volume. Listen. Suppose we wanted to add a fade in, which means that we want it to start from quiet and slowly build up our volume. Here's how we do it. We go to the corner of the track right here and notice when I place the pointer right on there, I get a call out box that says fade offset. I'm going to click and drag that out and look at that. We're getting a curve and that curve describes the envelope of the sound. Listen to the sound now. Do you hear it slowly get louder? It gets louder following that curve. Let's in fact change that curve a little bit and stretch it out even more. You can hear that the fade in goes over a much longer time period. So really what I'm drawing out with that click and drag is showing itself as the sound level. So the sound level starts low and gets up high and that is the fade in. Now once the fade in goes we've got a certain sound that's playing here we want to fade it out and so let's begin the fade out show you what we do with that. As you might imagine very simple all we do is we go to the other corner and look at that we have a fade offset icon appear and we're going to drag that out here well, forming kind of a little hill there but listen what happens when we have the music play as it goes across the hill. We've got now it going into that fade out and the volume begins to drop. And that is how easy it is to apply a fade in and a fade out. Now let's take a look at how Sony deals with bringing the whole sound level down for a track that you have. Suppose you had a track that was just too loud, wasn't really distorted, but was overpowering. So what you can do is really just drop that overall sound level, or suppose you wanted something just to play as quiet background music. You can set the level. Very easy. Here's how we do it. First, let's get rid of uh, this piece that we had here, and we'll drag our elevator music back in here. And let's listen to the elevator music play. And you can hear it. Now if I grab onto the top part of that track, notice a finger appears. I'm able to click and drag and bring that down. And the sound goes down. I can bring it back up. And the sound goes up. I leave it right there and I've set the sound. And that is how easy it is to work with fade in, fade out, and general sound level. See you in our next session.